process of developing and accelerating the process? We are moving very rapidly, but you have to remember we have to make enough vaccine to vaccinate the entire world. So that may take a period of maybe two years to be able to get enough people vaccinated to really see all the benefits from the vaccine. But I am hopeful that we will get a vaccine at, at some point. The access of it, as you mentioned here, is a very, very important part of it. What are some of the things that governments need to keep in mind in terms of creating a, a, a production lines and processes of distribution before even the vaccine is found? Are there things that governments can do to prepare for that? Well, we have to work with partners, partners in different countries that can help scale up manufacturing there. And we are seeing organizations like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation doing that. So we likely will see some of the developing countries partner with some of the other the vaccine manufacturers to make the vaccine available. We want to get healthcare workers and high-risk individuals vaccinated around the world. Uh, that's the priority because that's the way we move back to normal. It should not be the case that, that countries vaccinate their entire population before they allow export restrictions because we know that there are um, different different risks for different age groups. And we want to make sure that the high-risk individuals are the ones that are vaccinated first, along with healthcare workers around the world. Right. Dr. Uh, Amesha Dalja, just one question to you before I let you go off. Now, there is a scenario of what if we don't develop a vaccine? In that worst case scenario, do you think we're preparing for a contingency plan? I don't think that there's a biological, logical, there's not a biological break point that you can't get to a vaccine. I think we, we forget that we have vaccines for coronaviruses for cows and for avian species, and those are highly successful. So I think we will get a vaccine, but I think we have to be prepared that this doesn't deliver at the end of next year or maybe, maybe need two years to actually make a vaccine because vaccine development is something that is measured in years, not in months. The contingency would be to continue doing what we're doing along with developing antibody-based treatment, convalescent plasma, other medications to decrease the in-hospital mortality of this. So we have other tools, but the vaccine would be the easiest way to remove this as a threat to the world. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. Dalja, for your time and joining us from Pittsburgh.